Welcome to Legit Street Cars and welcome to the Lexus giveaway video. I'm so excited for this one. We've done a ton of work to this car, but this is the video where we wrap it all up and give it away to a very deserving person. So you guys are gonna meet Kamar a little bit later in the video, but at this point in time, I've never met him, he's never met me, he knows nothing about the car, so this is gonna be a total surprise, and these surprise giveaways can be a little nerve-wracking, you never know what's gonna happen, so hopefully it all goes well, no pressure at all. I'm gonna leave it up to Kamar to fill us in on his story or not a little bit later in this video, but just know this, Kamar is in school, he takes care of his little brother, his great aunt, and he just got a job that requires him to leave early and travel on a bus two and a half hours each way. So he really needs a car, he's never owned one, and that's all about to change. All right, with that, we have a ton of work to still do on the Lexus. Before the big giveaway, I have some mechanical issues I need to address. We're gonna be welding to fix the exhaust. But before any of that, I have the guys from Chicago Auto Pro setting up right now in the legit street quarters to perform a complete detail transformation that you guys are not gonna wanna miss. This car was sitting around for about 18 months outside. It's pretty grimy, it's pretty nasty, but that is all gonna change. It starts with us bolting up these practically brand new wheels. Oh man, these wheels look so good. You guys remember what these looked like when I first got this car? They were nasty. I bought new Lexus center caps as well. eBay specials, got 17 bucks, looks perfect. And here it is with the wheels. Oh man, what a big difference. What a big difference. These things were in rough shape before. Brand new tires. This thing is gonna be great. Look at this nice scratch right here that we're gonna fix. This detail is gonna be so much fun. And if we have time, we might even do the engine. How bad is it? Oh yes. It's definitely not clean, no. All right, so you guys all know Jason from Chicago Auto Pros. He's cleaned quite a few of my cars. Yeah. They're still looking pretty decent. Resident ones legal left outside, outside. legit street cars detailer. That's right, that's right. Um, and Jason just wants to go right at this engine. It is pretty yeah. nasty, so he's already taken some of the plastic panels off. And uh, we want to be careful around certain areas of the engine, so we have that covered up. And uh, what's the game plan here, Jason? Uh, clean everything that's dirty. Clean everything that's dirty. I like it. I like it. And we also have Joe here. He is the one that gave me the car because I got it started with a paperclip. I won the bet. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado, we have a ton of work to do. <laughs> So before hanging out with these guys, I was always afraid of cleaning engines. There's really not much to it. Just a little bit of all-purpose cleaner, some elbow grease, some brushes, and they'll have it looking brand new in no time. This little guy is amazing. They straight up dry cars up with this right here. All right, so we went from this to this. Wow, this looks brand new. It definitely doesn't match the rest of the car. And the guys are already doing something about that. Look at this. They're washing the wheels and the tires. They're brand new, Jason. They're brand new. <laughs> We're getting you the wheel wells. You don't have to do that. The tires are still dirty. It's like they're, they're detailers <laughs> or something. I don't know. Next up for Jason and the team is using an iron fallout remover on the paint. If you remember, this car was covered in rail dust, which are small particles of iron that embed themselves in the clear coat. The iron remover removes iron particles chemically, and you know it's done working, and you can rinse it off when it turns purple. This is a great product to use on any car, but in this case, it's extra important because I'll be surrounded 
ceramic coating every surface of the Lexus with this, the Avalon King Armor Shield 9 DIY Kit. Now, as you'll see, this kit is amazing, but so is the company. Avalon King is a family-owned business, and they wanted to help Kamar too, so after I give him the car, I'll be handing him some cash, including $1,500 from Avalon King. Now you guys can always save cash on a complete DIY kit by using coupon code LEGIT25. If you're not familiar, a ceramic coating adds an invisible layer of protection on any exterior surface, protecting it from the elements and making that surface extra hydrophobic, which means dirt and water can't stick to it. Look at how the dirt and water beads off the coated hood of my off-road ML, but sticks to the uncoated fender. The application process is ridiculously easy after you've cleaned your car, just wipe it on, wait a minute, and wipe it off. It adds a deep glossy shine to your car's paint, and you can coat the glass, you can coat the wheels so brake dust doesn't stick to them, and it's one of the best trim restores on the market. Restoring trim with this is instant gratification, and the coating lasts years, not months like wax. Anyone can do this at home, and you guys are going to see the final results of coating the Lexus later in the video, but I don't want you to miss the big sale, so visit my friends at Avalon King by using the link down below. This is so nasty. I want to clean it so bad. What do we got? What do we got? All purpose cleaner. All the right. Same as what we did with the engine. Something like grown right here. That's nice. Yeah, I think it's alive. <laughs> you're, you're killing it, John. You're killing it. Here you go. <laughs> yes. So satisfying. Goodbye, mold. All right, so you can actually see where it uh, dissolves some of that iron there. Uh, there's still a little bit more, so we can do this multiple times. What's great about this iron remover is to get this stuff in between here, these emblems, where you can't get the clay bar. So I'm gonna spray this a couple more times, and we're gonna let that sit, and I'm gonna actually agitate it and get it in the cracks and crevices. See right along this line? That's hard to get a clay bar in, so, so we'll spray some of these badges and stuff to let them sit into well again. All right, I'm gonna blast some of this away. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. What do you think? I mean, this one passed the Jason test, right? Prove. Look at that, look yeah. at that, it's perfect. And look what we found here. It's like a new discovery around every corner and crack. <laughs> like, I already vacuumed this, you should have seen it before. <laughs> it was bad, I almost wanted to leave it, but it, every time I opened the trunk, it kept on falling yeah. in. Nice. <laughs> uh, Joe, I think you left some of your stuff in here. You, you want to go ahead and grab this or, or what? I mean, we have some hearing protection. There are some nice vases over there. Maybe you're missing some flowers in your home and you need your vases back. There's video games in here. I don't want to know what's in that bag right there, but. <laughs> Come on, you got to need your, your iPhone case with the charger. Oh, my battery hold down. Look at that. We need that too. What are you, uh, what are you doing over here? We're Jason? getting ready to clean the interior. And what I love about cleaning interiors is that you really don't need much. You need a good all-purpose cleaner, some towels and a couple brushes, and you're good to go. And this is your little leather scrubber? Yeah, this is cool. This is unique. This fibers here, they're like little magical fingers, and they really get into the pores of the leather. And, and I was surprised because it's a weird-looking brush, but it does phenomenal on cleaning leather surfaces, rubber surfaces. And then we got another one that we're testing here too. This is the same kind of material, but this is in more of a, a little finger, oh, nice. finger mitt type of thing. The first step actually is to clean out all this mess and then we're gonna do what I call the blowout. So we're gonna use air and a vacuum and just blow everything, cracks, crevices, and then vacuum up everything as much as we can. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I really appreciate you guys Ooh. coming. So I got you something for the shop. So are these beer mugs? They're vases oh. for flowers. I'm gonna use them as beer mugs. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hang, let's hang on, hang on. We, need, we yeah. need to have proper eye protection when we're Ooh, working definitely. here. So, yes. Joe, what? Thank you. Joe. You got no Joe, come on. <laughs> Nothing's getting through those bad boys. <laughs> I'm ready. Hey, I found the paper clip. This is what started it all. Literally, this is what started the engine, this paper clip. I'm leaving it with the car. If you guys find a hard drive labeled Bitcoin 2015, <laughs> that's mine. All right, now we're just 
gonna go at it. And uh, I always like starting in the middle center console and just kind of working my way out. I'll pick a side, I'll sit down, clean this entire center console, I'll work my way and then I'll get the seat and then work my way around the car, easiest way to do it. This cup holder is just full of junk. So I spray, you know, all purpose in there and let it sit for a little bit. Now I have this little puddle that'll kind of just sit there and dwell and kind of break up all the dirt and grime in there. And then I can use a combination of my microfibers and the brush here and just brush everything around it and wipe everything up at the same time. I'm gonna try this guy. I don't know how long I've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. See, racing like five years of Joe's arm. <laughs> wow. Jason, I mean, at this point, you're pretty much immune to everything, right? Yeah. All right, so Jason already cleaned up the passenger seat. Looks so good, but the real challenge is the driver's seat. This thing is rough, very rough. Wow, this is gonna look good. It's gonna look better. It's gonna look perfect? It's gonna look better. Okay. <laughs> this is when you really need to uh, be able to manage expectations. Look at all that. That's yeah. all like skin buildup and stuff, man. Ew. Isn't that gross? That's super gross. Whew. Yummy. I was like, that's just a blank button. Yeah. Like, I uh, must have rubbed off. Oh, it is kind of. <laughs> that's all. Dead oh, skin. Oh, get shit. out. Yep. Ew. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. Bam. Brand new. Look at that. So with a clean interior, John is now conditioning all of the leather. Now he's just wiping off the excess and that'll get rid of that shiny look to it. And it'll just be your normal factory satin finish. And this stuff smells amazing. All right, so I have the bumper valence pieces that we had painted. So these are the originals, but they were all scraped up. so. The guys at O'Hare Auto Body took care of them for me. And now I believe they just click on. Yeah, should be pretty painless install here. Okay. Whoops, this one go this one goes on first. Mess that up. Okay, there's one. Alright, lower valence is on and looking pretty. And this is basically a sacrificial layer to the front bumper. These always get destroyed, but at the current moment, ours is perfect. So it's silver, so it's very difficult on camera to see a difference, but if you look at that little light right there, it looks like the sun. See all those swirl marks? Then we move over here to the side that Jason polished out. No swirl marks at all. So there is a difference. It's just a lot harder to show you on camera. If this car was black, we could do a tape line and you can really visualize it like we've done so many other times. But look at that. But there you go. Swirls, lots of swirls. Now that's one sweet looking tail light right there. They're done polishing, so it's time for the hard part. Take the old wheel covers off. There we go. That brush works really well for this. You guys seriously knocked it out of the park. This car looks awesome. It is the cleanest car in my fleet now, which is ridiculous. It came in as basically the worst car in my fleet, but it looks so good. Thank you so much. You guys awesome. check out Chicago Auto Pros. I'll link everything down below. Car Supplies Warehouse as well. All the products will be linked down below. 
as well. This took the entire day, but I think it was well, well worth it, and Kamar is going to love his new car. I was just telling Alex, it's never looked this good. I bought this car used, and I'm telling you guys, it's never looked this good inside or out. I can't believe this thing was sitting out in front of a barn for like yep. 18 months. Yep. Look at this car. Exactly. Yep. So crazy. So if you guys want to follow Joe, he's on YouTube as well, Joseph Marcus. Right. I'll link him down below. All right, so now it's time for the ceramic coating. And you guys know the drill. We're simply going to wipe it on and wipe it off. And after this dries, I'll show you guys how the water just beads right off of a coated surface. But I just wanted to show you how quickly you can coat a car because some people think this takes many hours and it's an all day or weekend affair and it's simply not true. So we've done half the hood there. We're gonna go ahead and coat the other half. And now the 60 second dry ticker has started on that side. All right, but this takes just a few seconds to apply, it's very easy. So we've done the entire hood there. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. We're just gonna coat this fender. It'll take us, you know, roughly five to 10 seconds. There we go, we're done. That fender is coated. We're gonna run over here, coat this fender as well. And by the time we're done coating this fender, we can start drying the first part of the hood that we coated because it's been about 60 seconds, that's all you need. And now we're simply going to buff this off in order of how we applied it. So I'm gonna do this half of the hood first, then over there to that side, then to the fender, and then finally here, and that's about it. And we've coated, what, like 35% of the car in the amount of time it's taken me to show you this basically live. So very easy to do this, anyone can do it at home. It's probably easier than waxing a car and very satisfying as you guys are about to see. I'm gonna let it dry overnight and then we're pouring water on this hood. Oh, this looks so good. So before the ceramic coating, the water would just cling to the hood and now it just beads right off. So this is gonna keep your car much cleaner for a lot longer. Before I continue with the mechanical repairs and then the big giveaway, I have to give you the final reveal outside in the light because the shop just doesn't do this justice. Everybody involved in the cosmetic restoration of this car has absolutely knocked it out of the park. Now this IS250 looks the same way it runs and drives, which is Perfect. We have brought this thing back from the dead. It looked horrible when I first laid eyes on it. The car had rust, the bumpers were damaged, the headlights were yellow, the wheels and tires were destroyed. Don't even get me started on the interior. This interior is now a nice place to be and although Kamara is still gonna have a far commute to work currently, it's gonna be a lot less than two and a half hours now with a car and this is where he gets to be. No more bus. Just a nice, comfortable, and now smelling very fresh and very clean Lexus IS250. Oh, and if you guys are wondering how we transformed the wheels from looking like this to looking like this, well, it's because my friends at Crown Customs in Elk Grove, Illinois, stepped up to the plate and donated their time, effort, and material into stripping these wheels down and repowder coating them in the factory silver finish. They even mounted the new all-season Continental tires that I bought as well. And like every company or local business that is pitched in and helped with the Lexus, their information will be linked down below. Now, speaking of local businesses, we have an issue with the exhaust. We need a section cut out and welded back together. So let's hit the road over to Fluid Motor Union. I just got to Fluid Motor Union in Naperville, Illinois, and this is pretty much the best place in the world. Before we get working on the Lexus, I gotta show you some of these cars. Just for a quick minute, you're gonna love it. To say these guys work on a little bit of everything would be a massive understatement. We have a 56 T-Bird. We have a Radical, which is a Ford 3.5 liter powered supercar. This thing is crazy. Rolls-Royce, Porsche, that is a CLK DTM. Those are like, I don't know, a half a million dollars or something crazy. Hang on, you gotta see this. So this is basically a factory Mercedes race car. I gotta make a complete video on it, but the more you look at the underside, the more you realize how serious this car is. There are heat sinks on the axles. There are coolers for literally everything. And this is all factory. It still has the five-speed transmission that's in an E55 or a CLK55 of this era. 
It's probably a little bit more beefed up, but look at this. Look at the carbon fiber brake ducts on this car. This is all factory. It is a factory race car. These things are basically priceless whenever they go up for sale. They pretty much sell for whatever they are asking. Just an unbelievable car, an unbelievably rare car at that, and it's here at Fluid for a service. Uh, you're not gonna believe this. We just got on the rack to do the exhaust work, and this thing doesn't wanna start anymore. We had to push it on the rack. It's showing a code for low fuel pressure. All right, so I'm up in the air on the rack. OJ is gonna tap on the fuel pump. This has a mechanical fuel pump for the direct injection and a pickup pump, a normal electronic pickup pump. So there he goes, he's hitting it. All right, here we go. Nothing yet. Come on. What's the gas gauge say, by the way? It's reading a half tank, but it's possible the gauge is off. We have Donnie, the Fluid Motor Union Roadside Assistance Service Technician. <laughs> All right, we definitely have fuel in this thing. Let's see what happens. you got to be kidding me right now. Well, the only good part of this is that it happened to me at a shop and not to Kamar later on the road. So we're gonna have to figure out a fuel pump issue, apparently. All right, fuel pump is on order. Just in case we can always return it if it's not it, but we don't have much time here. And I wanna check power at the fuel pump and verify that's the issue. Hmm. Yeah, surprisingly, it's not that dirty in here. Weird. So unfortunately, they don't use bolts for the panels here. It's just glued on, which is, Kind of dumb, not gonna lie. It's a little rusty, probably the original fuel pump. I know this doesn't look to have ever been touched. I gotta say, if you ever have to have your car break down, having it break down here with OJ <laughs> available <laughs> is probably the best case scenario. I, I always add a little extra time for when you're coming, just in case uh, <laughs> yeah, right. something doesn't go the way we want it to. Uh, I really don't want to tear a lot of me. Yeah, these are so brittle. Case. Yeah, let's not do that. You know, after 15 years or so, all this plastic stuff is very delicate. But we're mostly concerned with the lines. We don't want to crack any of those. Does this need to come out more? Should need to. There we go. Oh yeah, how was it? Oh cool. All right, so we got the lines off. That's good. Now we just got to make sure that all these rusted bolts don't break. You can't exactly torch them if they. Uh... Yeah. We can't use heat on this, that would be no bueno. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, we did check the fuse and we checked for power. It's getting proper power, so this is pretty cut and dry. A bad fuel pump. All right, we don't want any garbage falling into our fuel tank, so we just vacuumed it up. There we go. And it's an entire sending unit here. This is quite the contraption. Oh, 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 I don't want the car smelling like that. It's all right. Should have smelled it before the detail. Dude, this tank is full. This tank is totally full, but clean. Look in there. Perfectly clean. So we just have to remove this one clamp. No other connectors? That's, kind That's of nice. it, man. That is easy. That's nice. I will right, we'll clean this up here. Kamar, I don't want your car smelling like gas. Well, with a full tank, it's kind of unavoidable to spill a little bit. No biggie. So this side of the tank is full. That side is probably not full. That's why it's not reading a full tank on the gauge there. But yeah, very clean fuel tank. No debris in here whatsoever. And I don't want to jinx myself, but provided that the fuel pump fixes the car, I'm actually kind of glad this happened. All right, so we're taking this guy apart. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Look at this strainer. We're seeing what we can get parts wise. You can get the entire sending unit or just the fuel pump. So whatever we can get right now is what we're going with. All right, so because we're on a time crunch over here at Fluid, we got to move on. The fuel pump or the sending unit is on its way. Um, but I did realize when I got this car, it was still warm out that the air conditioning didn't work. So we're recovering everything right now. We're going to put it into a vacuum. Hope it doesn't have any leaks and that it's just a charge, I hope and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so the real reason we're here at Fluid is to fix an exhaust leak. So they have the smoke machine in the tailpipes. You can see it's leaking from underneath the heat shield. So this is really common. Moisture builds up in there and the exhaust rots away. This side has already been repaired at some point. This is in factory and it's developed another hole as well. That insulation is a disaster waiting to happen. Look at that. All 
right, so with that gone, we can see this guy is leaking all over the place. This is all rotted out here, 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 everywhere. It's really cool with the smoke machine to see this. It's just leaking out of probably 50 different little pores that have opened up slowly over the years. I think it's safe to say we found the smoking gun. <laughs> All right, so OJ and the guys can never do something halfway. I was like, can you just fix up some of the pin holes and we'll weld in a little pipe? No, no. They're taking uh, the entire center section out to do this on a table, do it right. And that all starts with uh, getting these bolts free. Do you guys see this? Here, look at this one. Do you see what we have to deal with here in the Chicago land area? It's rust. What is this? Is that even, that that used to be a bolt and a nut. Now it's just a big glob. Yeah, basically anytime you have something this rusted, uh, it's gonna be a problem coming off. The idea here is I don't wanna spend a bunch of time drilling something out. So if we can get it off and spend more time with the, the, the flame wrench, even though it's gonna take me a little while heating it up, cooling it off. The little trick I learned uh, a little while back when I first started off was getting it to the point where it's red hot, then you hit it with water, and that water actually cracks the rust off, cracks that, those areas off. That came out. Are you kidding me? Science, people, science. Fire and water, that's all you need. You gotta admit, you're a little surprised too, right? You usually have one break when they're this bad, but I was on camera, so I had that pressure. <laughs> Look at these threads, beautiful. Ooh. Even these rear ones are giving us problems. This one shouldn't be too bad. No problem. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, exhaust is out going in the fab shop. So we got the new fuel pump and it didn't come with a strainer. So we had to pull one off of an AEM aftermarket fuel pump. Uh, it's practically new <laughs> and much better than this one. And that's what we're working with, so. So the other nice thing about this pump is that it's not going to cost you anything, Alex, because uh, my buddies over at uh, Lexus of North America, we've done a, a few builds with them. I gave them a ring while we were dealing with this and they're actually gonna cover the uh, the pump on this. So oh, nice. They want to get involved. They see you're doing something charitable and uh, they thought, you know, something little like this could help out so uh you know well it definitely helps out because otherwise i'm stranded here so <laughs> i drove the lexus here that's my ride out of here so <laughs> i'll take what i can get oh that's okay you want to hear what this thing sounds like with uh no exhaust i think we're about to just because we're in here and we don't want it to look worse putting it back on i'm gonna clean this up so kamar you'll never see this part but just know that oj's putting his special touch on it all right if he's doing that i can't leave this alone all right so i cleaned up the top of this and i get this hose on Try not to snap your fingers. yeah and then uh, like close I can't see. Um, yeah. Right there. Let go. No. Yep. The team effort there on that hose clamp. Just going back in. All right. New fuel pump. And here we go. Nice and shiny and clean. All right. Last bolt. Install our hoses. Okay, a clip there and a connector here. All right, that's clipped in there. Well, let's see what it sounds like with no exhaust. All right, here we go. First start, IS-250 open exhaust. Let's hope it starts. Yes. Fuel pump fix it. Give it some love, Donnie. That sounds pretty good actually, but the most important thing is that it starts. So with that, let's go check in with Billy in the fab shop and see how he's doing on the exhaust. I have a feeling that he's probably going way too far for what this car is. Look at that. See 
right through it. All right, and Billy's done. Here it is. Just like that. It only took him about 15 minutes. Oh, oh. That's not it? Look at the difference on that frame rail. So nasty before. Like I said, guys, overkill, overkill. They just can't leave something dirty and gross. All right, so this is what Billy made up for the Lexus. TIG welded 304 stainless is going on this car. So I've already reinstalled the back section of the exhaust and we're reusing the flanges. So new hardware, OJ cleaned these up so they look pretty and new. So now Billy is going to mock up his new exhaust pipes, get them perfect, tack them, and then we're dropping the entire system again so he can weld all the way around. Well, I definitely didn't expect to get any of this cleaned up, but OJ went to town with the pressure washer. We let the engine run, blew it off with air, and this is what we have. So before it was just covered in grime, grease, and dirt, and now it looks really nice. Just not nearly as nice as the exhaust that Billy's working on right now. This is too nice. It's just simply too nice, Billy. All right, Billy just got done with this masterpiece. Just take a look at these welds. TIG welded 304 stainless on an IS250 for a repair. That's how they do it. All right, I just got done reinstalling the exhaust and it is complete and looking sweet. So we have some new flange gaskets. The flanges and this pipe has been cleaned up. And of course, Billy worked his magic on these pipes. So I definitely was not expecting this type of repair for the exhaust, but that's fluid motor union for you. All right, so we have fixed a surprised fuel pump, the exhaust, the air conditioning didn't leak by the way, we charged it up, it wasn't that low, so no big deal there. OJ, go for it. It's quieter. Yeah, that sounds like a Lexus should sound. Does the, uh, is the air on? Oh, it feels cold. Yeah? Yeah, it's cold. Check that out. Oh yeah, ice cold. All right guys, we're all wrapped up at Fluid Motor Union. The Lexus still looks amazing, but now it sounds amazing as well. Sounds a lot better. It's running, it has air conditioning, so we've done a lot today at Fluid Motor Union. So big thanks to OJ and the team here. It's a good cause, so you know, I appreciate the opportunity to be a part of it as well, so. All right guys, it is the giveaway morning and I'm really excited. I'm also very nervous. I've never met Kamar. I don't even know what he looks like. I don't know what he acts like. Peter has told me a lot about him though and that he's a very kind person and that he helps everybody he can. So the way I've set this up is we are at his workplace. Peter has picked him up from his house and is nice enough to give him a ride to work this morning. So I told Peter exactly where we're parked and I'm gonna pretend to be broken down. I'm gonna say I left my lights on and I need help with the jumper pack uh, and then hopefully Kamara will come over and help me and after that I have some money to give him as payment and the car eventually we'll kind of see how it goes that's how I have it played out in my head right now but I have a couple of camera guys setting up right now we got Joe of course he's coming along for the giveaway can't wait. if you're nervous I'm super nervous and I'm just sitting here recording the background <laughs> so I can't imagine how you feel man and I think it was fate but we got Miles the cameraman I borrowed him from Fluid Motor Union when the fuel pump went out he was over there filming, so he's their videographer, photographer, and he has a way, way nicer camera setup than me. So we're setting his car up, kind of all sneaky here. Uh, Joe's gonna be hiding behind his Rubicon, and then I'll be right there in the Lexus. Hey, you right? Yeah, not really. I left the lights on in my car, and it won't start. I got this jumper pack, but I don't, I don't know. Red, does red go to black, or does red go to red? I don't know how to do this, man. You ever done this before? <laughs> I'm like so bad with cars. There you go. That looks good to me. And then that one, yeah. Yeah, the key's in there. Do you think you could start it for me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks, man. I really appreciate this, seriously. I just got done doing so much work to this car. It's got new shocks, new springs, a new battery. I cleaned the intake valves, new wheels, new tires, just everything. Yeah, uh, you can go ahead. There's a, there's a key in there. Oh, thank you. 
you so much, man. Seriously, I appreciate it. What do I owe you for this? Is, is 500 bucks 500 cool? Bucks. Is that, I mean, it's your time, man. I appreciate this. I'd be stranded. If that's not enough, I got, is another thousand on top of that good? Well, that's 1500 actually, 1500. You drive a hard bargain. How about another thousand, 2,500 bucks? Jeez, you are a shrewd negotiator. 35, 3,500 bucks. Is that enough? You know what? You know what, man? Just forget it here. You can have this car. It is yours. A 2006 IS250. Do you like it? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think if this was your car? You have a very good friend. Let me tell you. You have a very good friend. Peter has set this entire thing up. He told me you take a bus to get here. You're taking care of your little brother. You're taking care of your aunt. You're going to school. You're working. And you don't have any wheels. <laughs> you're on YouTube right now. <laughs> I'm Alex, by the way. Yeah, I run, I run a channel, uh, Legit Street Cars. Peter's been telling me about you for like the last month. Peter, can you shut this thing off? <laughs> He's been telling me about you for about a month now. I actually do know how to jumpstart a car, believe it or not. <laughs> I installed this, this stuff like, don't you know how to do this? <laughs> so we have to completely refurbished this car. Uh, Joe, he actually donated it to my YouTube channel, Legit Street Cars. Okay. He, he was going to donate it. didn't run. It's kind of been abandoned for a couple of years. And we fixed up everything. I had told him that I'm looking for a young person, a hardworking, deserving young person uh, to give this car to after we're done. And he immediately yeah. thought of you. <laughs> what is <laughs> What do you think? What do you I, think? I'm just shocked. I didn't, I didn't expect to come to work and get a car. <laughs> oh, really? You didn't? <laughs> so, yeah, man, we really, uh, new bumpers, new headlights, new, new brakes, quick struts all the way around. We did everything to this car. Uh, I brought together a lot of local businesses. We all came together and kind of made this happen and resurrected this car from a, uh, basically a, an abandoned barn graveyard, right, Joe? That's right. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I so much. Yeah, of course, of course. And you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> he did this for you. Serving so much. <laughs> we'll get we'll get you all set up. Don't worry. And you still actually get this money too. So, um, thousand bucks for me. Taxes, registration. Go out to dinner, have fun. Um, Current, one of the channel sponsors. They're sending you a debit card and you can throw a thousand bucks on your new debit card. And then the video sponsor for this video, Avalon Kings, they hooked you up with 1,500. I don't know if I counted, it's 3,500 altogether. I don't know if I handed it in the right order, but you get 3,500 bucks, get you started. This thing shouldn't need anything though. It's in excellent condition. It looks like a nice car. It's a really nice car. You wanna check it out? It's yours, man. And it doesn't need a jump. <laughs> it's got a brand new battery. <laughs> There's two keys, one of them should be in there. There's a button to start it right there, fire it up. Yeah, man, <laughs> that's all you. <laughs> is this gonna help your commute a little bit? A lot. <laughs> How long does it take you to get to work? With uh, the buses? With the buses, it takes me two hours. Two, two hours each way, man, that's crazy. I put it up on GPS, it should only take you like 45 minutes-ish. How long did it take you guys today? Yeah, about 45. About 45, yeah, yeah. So, it'll save you a little bit of time, you can sleep in. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so shocked and surprised. Like, this is so <laughs> amazing. I'm just, I don't know what to say. I... <laughs> we cleaned it up, you should have seen how nasty it was, but it, it, it's... It's cleaned, it's serviced, it's perfect, it's ready to go. Brand new tires too. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, I of course. I all you guys, yeah. honestly. I wonder what they're gonna say when I, if I come home with a car. <laughs> <laughs> like when I got to work today. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. it might be a little shock for your brother and then you, uh, you, you live with your great aunt, or aunt? Yeah. Your aunt too, okay. I'm just like, now, now she'll never stop asking me to go to the store for some bread. <laughs> so, but I'm ready, you know. I'm ready. All right, guys, it is a couple of days later, super early in the morning, and I am delivering the Lexus to Kamar's aunt's house. He wanted to get the garage situated before even taking delivery of this car. 
and uh, so I'm driving it to him and I gotta say I'm gonna miss it I'm gonna miss it look at this perfectly straight as an arrow this thing runs and drives like it did back in 2006 it's a beautiful beautiful car on a very beautiful super early morning here in Chicago. We gave him this car a few days ago and he he hasn't said a word just to surprise you here at the house okay. with the car. So I, I cleaned it up again this morning for you guys. And, you know, How so do you feel about it? What do you think? I'm happy for you. <laughs> yeah. So I just charge you more rent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, Kamara, you just got yourself a bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Peter introduced me to Kamara, and he'd let me know the story and how he's working hard. And he's go, a hard you know. worker. He is. I'm very, very proud of him. Yeah. yeah. But God is good, and all the time, God is good. So, oh. He's probably too caught to come outside and get, get in. Oh my car. God, are those pictures he's taking? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you might as well see the worst and then the best. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's cold. I'm very happy for him. Now, if he helps me get some teeth, I can smile right and do right what he did. And I help those who help themselves. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll help those who help themselves. All right. All right, well, it's good to meet you. Okay, you going? Uh, I'm just going to talk to you. Oh, okay, we'll just close the door for you. Right. And you all take care, okay? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> nice nice to you meet you. Okay. This car will mean so much to me. So I'll be able to spend more time with my family. I'll be able to get to work quicker and I have less stress in the morning and in the afternoon about coming home and like spending so much time on the commute. And I'll, I'll be able to do way more for my family, you know? Anytime I need groceries, I can just go there myself, pick it up and come back myself. I can take my brother and my aunt places, like finally. Like my brother's never been downtown, so I've always wanted to show up downtown. Oh, man, you got to take him down Lakeshore Drive in this thing. Yeah. Oh, man, with the sunroof open. I'm just so excited for this car. <laughs> I am currently working to save up for school. I was in courses, but the thing about thing about it was that the commute piled pil with the courses was like a bit too much because I was when I was going to school, that was also like an hour and a half away from my house. Wow. So, what do you want to go to school for? Engineering. Engineering. So just like he taught you, right? Yeah. So Okay, so they met because uh, Peter was teaching engineering. Uh, with, a, with a focus on automotive, and Kamara was one of his classmates, and this has been a few years now, right? Yeah, yeah, it was like uh, probably three, four years ago, yeah. something like that, yeah. And you're going to be able to go wherever you want now. Yeah, uh, you don't know how much that means to me. Uh, in my life, I'm used to being moved around a lot, but the place that's always remained consistent for me, constant for me, that's like home to me, is my aunt's house. And she's really been there for me a lot. Uh, she, it's like the closest thing to a mother to me. So I really want to be able to help her out. Like she's helped me out because she's just grown older and she can't take care of herself them, like uh, how she used to before. And I just want to be there for her like she was for me. And she's been taking care of you like for a, a while? For a long time, ever since I was in high school. <laughs> yeah. Not even high school, like uh, middle school even. And it's been just her, you know, her and her and my brother. Ever since I was younger, I've always wanted to do something to help ev like everyone else out. I think my biggest dream was to build something to that will change the world in a positive way. And so getting this car, it allowed me to go back to school, study engineering, and hopefully give back to everyone that's given to me. You know, I want to, I want to invest in the people like people have invested into me. And I also want to teach my brother a lot about the world because I'm one of the only things he has. Oh, we gotta love those Chicago potholes. <laughs> Brutal around here, man. <laughs> they like they don't work on these but, streets a lot. <laughs> listen, come on. I think you should invent a pothole filling machine <laughs> and fix these streets up. That'll help everybody out. <laughs> but no, that's really cool, man. I'm. I'm I'm so happy to hear that. It's tough finding a recipient for a car giveaway. Believe it or not, I get a ton of emails when I announce that I'm going to do this stuff from people that are like, hey, bro, I just blew up my M5 engine. Like, let me get that Lexus real quick. It's kind of ridiculous. You don't know if there's scammers out there and stuff. So partnering up with Peter and being able to find Kamar, I mean, honestly, it just it doesn't really get much better than this, you know? And when he told me a little bit about his story, and I've learned so much more over the last couple of days, man, it's just really just solidified how great this is and how giving to people can change their lives entirely and 
you know, when I was in high school, um, my dad left, you know, my mom couldn't afford a lot of bills and we had, uh, some priests kick in and, and help out. And it was just life changing for me. And I always said, even, you know, when I was younger that one day, one day I'm going to help people somehow. All right. And, uh, if it's fixing up old cars like this, then so be it. All right. One of the keys is in there. You got the other key, right? Yeah. That's right. Um, I think that's it, man. I think we're all done. So congratulations again. <laughs> I, you don't know how much this means to me. Most importantly, I can't thank you enough, Peter. No thank problem, you. man. <laughs> you deserve it, dude. <laughs> thank you so much, Alex. Yeah, man, of course, seriously. Oh, right. I'm so happy for you. Congrats, man. Mm -hmm. and I, you cleared out the garage. You are ready. Yeah. <laughs> You're ready for this. All right, that will do it, guys. That'll do it for the Lexus series. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I'll link the playlist down mm -hmm. below. You gotta check out the videos on fixing this up. This thing was a little different when we first got it, <laughs> but I think we did a decent job. So with that, if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, share the video with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and most importantly, have an awesome day. I'll catch all of you in the next video.